So I was actually um, I was watching some of your videos and I was I just wanted to know, like, how did how did the uh, Juan Manuel Marquez interview come about? Because it looked like you're not bro, at a fight or some shit, bro. I was at work. All right? All right. That that was that was a straight up like I'm working, you know, and my boy calls me up, my coworker. He's like, yo, I got Marquez here now. Marquez, I live in Orlando, Florida. So Marquez is always in and out of Orlando. I think he got a crib out here. So, you know, he flies to Mexico City. So my boy hits me up. He was like, listen, he goes, I got Marquez over here by the gate. He's by himself. He's always traveling by himself. Right. So, you know, I was I ran over there. I walked up to him. Now, I'm Puerto Rican, but my Spanish, I'm a New York Rican. So right. my Spanish ain't up to par with yeah. the guys from the island. So, you know, I got that broken in Spanglish. And I'm, you know, talking to him. And I've always noticed that he does interviews in Spanish. And I'm like, you know, how the hell am I going to do this? Like, I really want to interview. He's my favorite Mexican fighter of all time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, Legend. you know, I, I I started talking and he spoke English. So I went and I did this interview in English. And I think I'm like one of the only rare interviews that he has done in English. I've know, yet to like see that. another one. I haven't seen one. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure there is, but I haven't seen one in English. And he did pretty good and everything like that. And I did it right on the spot, like right in the airport. He was there. He was leaving in Mexico City. He is a down to earth guy. Great guy. You know, always stops to take pictures and talk to you and everything like that. Like I said, every time I see him coming through Orlando, he's by himself. There's right. no entourage or nothing like that. He's a real short guy. I'm a short guy. So, you know, he did the interview. And this was during the time that he wanted to fight Miguel Cotto. So, right. you know, we come got, back, right? yeah, we got we got into that conversation. He wanted Cotto to come down to 147. And, you know, we touched on Manny Pacquiao, that that was a great, you know, knockout that he had against Manny Pacquiao because I, I went crazy because, you know, I like Pacquiao. He's a great fighter. But, you know, my guy was Marquez, you know, and I, and I love the wars that they had. You know, that was like one of the greatest rivalries in boxing that go up there with, you know, Barrera and Morales, you know, all those guys mm -hmm. that had great thrill, you know, trilogies and stuff like that. And they fought four times and that knockout was like the icing on the cake. And I was like, you know, super ecstatic to be interviewing him. And we also touched on um, Timothy Bradley, that he wanted no part with Timothy Bradley. He was like, nah, I don't want, I don't want that fight again. You know, he didn't even want to revenge that 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 loss that he got against Bradley because the style matchup it was just too much for him and stuff. But it was a great interview. Oh yeah, that it, that was awesome, man. It's it's crazy. I you're right though. I don't think I've ever seen him do another English interview. I think he's like Canelo, where because you know mm -hmm. Canelo speaks English, but yeah. it's one of those things where he he just he does either doesn't want to to do it at the press conference or whatever, but which is understandable. But I feel like Marquez. Maybe I saw him do like he did an interview in Spanish and then right at the end he threw some English in and it was like yeah. a whole sentence. Yeah, but not a whole like, interview. Not a whole exactly. interview. Definitely not. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely not, man. Yeah, that was it. That was a gem, man. That was a gem.